You know, we also have experience with controversy. Uh, our first big source of controversy was Bitcoin in 2015, when it was $250. Now it's almost $40,000. Tesla, you know, we were fighting that battle uh, for a very long time. And uh, it, it, it went from $30 in, in uh, 30, uh, on the split stock, I get a bit mixed up, yeah. uh, to where it is today, $1,000. In this video, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest defends ARK's investment strategy, Tesla stock, provides some useful perspective for stock investors, and discusses Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter. So let's get into it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. If you wanna take it to the next level, join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment theme merch in the merch Store. So check out the links in the pinned comment below and thanks for your support. If you haven't noticed, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest have been getting absolutely slaughtered lately in the mainstream finance media. The vultures are circling. Many of the stocks in their flagship fund down 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus percent in the last 6 to 12 months. Obviously, the only possible conclusion here is Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are morons. They don't know what they're doing. They've lost their touch or they never had it in the first place. Their thoughts and ideas around disruptive innovation, absolutely off the mark. ARK Invest are Doom, they'll be soon closing their doors, investors will lose colossal amounts of money, and everyone would have just been better sticking to index funds. You know, the ones that contain brick and mortar retail, brick and mortar banking, internal combustion engine vehicle manufacturers, gas and oil companies. Yeah, those ones. Now, I can relate somewhat to Kathy Wood and ARK Invest here. Every single time Tesla stock has had a meaningful pullback in the last almost three years since I started this channel, trolls suddenly appear in the comments, hey, you're an idiot, sucked in, you lost your money, you're an idiot, blah, 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 blah. Well, um, I guess this is a poor time to remind those folks exactly where Tesla stock was when I began this channel versus where it is now and what's happened on average over the long term. Allow me to provide a little bit of very important perspective. First up, let's take a very close look at the Tesla stock price chart since the company IPO'd well over a decade ago back in 2010. If we zoom out, broadly speaking, it looks like the stock didn't do a whole lot in the early days. In fact, until early 2020, it looks like Tesla stock was basically flat. Then suddenly went to the fucking moon. Let's just say hypothetically speaking, you happen to be an investor who had purchased Tesla Tesla stock any time between 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or even late into 2019. Of course, you had a very long-term perspective. This is as far as things went. If somebody was commenting on your investment returns, your investment success, in fact, your decision to buy Tesla stock up to this point in time, they may have made a semi-credible case that you have no idea what you're doing because look, the stock's barely done anything. However, something happened right around November 2019, exactly when I started this YouTube channel. Total coincidence, but the facts are the facts. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Tesla stock heads to the moon, up over 1,200% in the span of a year or so. Two and a half years later, very solid returns. This is what the stock market finally figuring out what some people could see ahead of time looks like. In other words, Tesla is going to disrupt the internal combustion engine industry. They're in a dominant position. They have an unassailable lead, blah, 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 blah. This is extremely important. Depending on what window of time you're looking at Tesla stock, you're gonna have a very different perception of what a good or bad investment it actually was. Let's go a little bit further peel the onion back just a little bit more. Again, this is very important context, so please stick with me. Blit adjusted, Tesla stock $3.84 closing price on IPO day. We saw a very, very, very significant bump in Tesla running up into 2013, basically a 10X within just a few years. The Model S comes out, starts winning every award ever. People get very excited about the company, but this is where things take a very interesting turn. Despite Tesla continuing to ramp up production, develop new products to increase their revenue on and on, every metric increasing over time, positive signs across the board. What happened to Tesla stock? The answer, well, in the following half decade or so, I think the technical term for what Tesla stock did was approximately fuck all. As we can see here, the period between the 7th of March 2014 and the 31st of May 2019, more than half a decade, saw Tesla stock decline about 25%. Now, yes, there were some ups and downs along the way, but let's say that you're an investor who had a five-year investment horizon. You probably wouldn't be too happy with being down 25% over that half decade time span. Friends and 
and family would be mocking, laughing, and ridiculing your terrible investment decisions. You're an idiot, why'd you buy Tesla stock? And so on. And if you didn't have a whole lot of conviction in your investment decisions, this might be a point where you go, fuck it, it's been half a decade, nothing's happened, I'm out of Tesla stock. But had you simply hung on until the stock market figured out what was obvious to you already, which is why you invest in the first place, bam, up almost 1,700%. Very important to understand this, okay? Tesla stock, for a period of five years, goes sideways. In fact, worse than sideways. It's down. Doesn't look like a great investment if you're looking through that time horizon. Extend things out just a little bit further, and we have a very different picture. Disruptive innovation is inherently volatile. The opportunity for investors lies in a disconnect between what is obvious and inevitable versus what the stock market thinks is happening, as we've heard a million times. Over the short term, the stock market is a voting machine. Emotions, feeling, consensus, opinions. Over the long term, a weighing machine. Eventually, it will figure out the substance and the truth of the matter. But as we've seen, there can be very extended, prolonged periods of disconnect, huge buying opportunities. This is like Amazon. Remember Amazon in the day, where it, it IPO'd at 18, uh, in 1997, went to 118, and then in the crisis, uh, round trip back to 18. Okay. Today it's at 2,500, even after it's dropped today. We see Teladoc. Uh, in the same uh, league as an Amazon. You know, we also have experience with controversy. Uh, our first big source of controversy was Bitcoin in 2015 when it was $250. Now it's almost $40,000. Tesla, you know, we were fighting that battle uh, for a very long time. Uh, and uh, it, it, it went from $30 in, in uh, 30, uh, on the split stock, I get a bit mixed up, yeah. uh, to where it is today, $1,000. So these are big ideas. But don't worry, this time is different. Kathy Wood and Ark Invest have no idea what they're doing. They've lost their touch. In fact, they never had their touch. They were just super lucky. And the stocks currently today, down 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus percent. Well, they're never gonna recover. You should definitely not trust Kathy Wood or Ark Invest or their research and stay the hell away from disruptive innovation. I'm building layer by layer to a very important point. So on to the next piece of the puzzle. So I just want to take a real quick look through some of the lifetime returns on some of ARK's ETFs. We're looking here at the ARK Next Generation ETF here, ticker ARKW. We can see lifetime returns over 200% since the fund launched back in 2014. If we pull this to a tighter five-year window, we're looking at over 107%. Not bad. I don't think there's too many investors out there in the general marketplace who'd be upset with returns of 100 or so percent over a five-year period. You're not going to find a whole lot of index funds that outperform this. If we head over to ARK's much maligned ARK Genomics Fund, ticker ARKG, we can see the same thing. Lifetime returns of close to 70 percent. It's been a bumpy and volatile ride along the way, but again, a little bit of perspective and we can see these are pretty solid returns. This might be the point where you ask yourself, hmm, decent so far. Is it possible ARK investors know what they're doing or did they just get very lucky? Of course, who knows? It's not like there's any more data we can look at, is there? Oh wait, there is. How about the ARK? ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. Lifetime returns of 185%. This fund also launched October 2014. Even the five-year time horizon over a 100% return. Again, I don't think there's too many investors out there that would be disappointed with these returns. Note, however, what a bumpy ride this has been. Now on to ARK's flagship fund, the ARK Innovation ETF, ticker ARK-K. Lifetime returns over 130%. Five-year returns over 80%. Of course, if you're a very short-term, short-sighted investor, kind of investor who ultimately won't make a whole lot of money investing, you might be trolling Kathy Wood and Ark right now going, oh look, they're so dumb, how the fund's down 69% since its peak. Which is kind of the point. Investing in disruptive innovation is inherently volatile. I almost feel obliged to point out how truly idiotic it is for people to be attacking Kathy Wood and Ark's investment strategy without first asking the question, wait, what's their publicly stated investment time horizon and what are the returns across their funds on average over that period of time? It's easy for most armchair investors point, laugh, ridicule, and mock when ARK, for example, have some stocks in their funds right now that are currently getting wrecked over a short period of time. But this criticism is utterly invalid. As I said, if you're not critiquing ARK Invest based on their returns over their publicly stated time horizon, your criticism is entirely invalid. Now, full disclosure, I'm extremely biased here, not because I currently own any of the ARK ETFs, although I have in the past sold them to buy Tesla stock dips. No, instead, I'm extremely biased because I'm such an obnoxious, arrogant, self-centered 
Leonard Clown. So when I first began considering investing in stocks and thinking about my strategy, I was interested in investing in the same kind of things as ARK Invest. Automation, robotics, genomics, technology, disruptive innovation. In fact, while doing my research, I learned that ARK had just launched a few funds back in 2014. Upon learning about these funds, I read about their investment thesis and thought, F they think like I think. I think I'm right. Therefore, I think they're going to be right. At the time, the ARK Invest funds looked like a scaled up version of the same kind of stock portfolio I would build for myself. So, as I said, extremely biased. They think like I do and I think I'm right. Therefore, I think they're right. So a few more words from Kathy Wood on Tesla stock, innovation, opportunities in the market, and Elon's purchase of Twitter. Then I'll wrap things up and finally make the point I've been alluding to for the entire fucking video. I think we're one of the few organizations, uh, financial organizations in the world, focused solely on disruptive innovation. This is our bread and butter. And because most of our stocks are not in broad-based benchmarks, uh, most analysts don't feel the need to cover them uh, that closely. Sure. Uh, so we are doing some, we are fulfilling, we believe, an unmet need, helping uh, investors and advisors to diversify portfolios and incorporate disruptive innovation that is going to unearth uh, the traditional world order is going to disrupt it. And, uh, and so we're a good diversifier and a hedge against uh, the creative destruction uh, that disruptive innovation and is going to do. To be clear, you're saying that at $35 today, your analysts think Teladoc is worth $350 a share potentially. So when you say there's a five-year time horizon, those are the kinds of values um, that you're pitching to the investors who are kind of sticking around to still see this story out. Let me ask you something. Have, have you ever thought that there was an investment, a holding that you overpaid for, uh, a, a mistake, a research mistake perhaps that you know was later borne out by an earnings power that didn't match up to expectations? Or has every single holding, in your opinion, been either a success or an unproven success where investors just have to wait a few more years to see better returns? Yeah, I think a lot of people understand when we when they hear us talk with such conviction uh, uh, about our stocks, and the conviction is born out of research. Conviction um, is born out of research. Um, they think uh, that that conviction translates in that we can never be wrong. That is not true. Uh, in fact, if we do, we we make mistakes all the time. If you don't take risk, you're not going to be able to generate the returns. Uh, we have taken it since last February, uh, the number of stocks in our flagship portfolio, ARKK, uh, peaked at uh, 58 uh, and is now 35. So there are 23 names uh, that we took out of the portfolio saying, you know what, uh, uh, we're not as confident in our assumptions or we don't like uh, this management uh, turnover, uh, management uh, changes we watch like a hawk, and that's why I mentioned those on Teladoc. Mm -hmm. We're very impressed with the talent they're attracting. So no, we are we we are going to be wrong. Uh, we are. I'm sure we have mistakes in the portfolio now. Uh, and many people would say, well, look at the stock price. It's uh, uh, for ARKK, it's been decimated. It's been decimated. Uh, and it's treating our, our, our stocks and our portfolios as though it is 1999, when there were a lot of companies that were, uh, uh, that were founded that, that actually failed. Uh, that, that they were chasing a dream that is becoming a reality right now. And we are investing in that reality, even though many investors, unlike the late 90s, are running away from innovation, running into their benchmarks, and, uh, and, and selling our stocks. Final question, you mentioned management. Uh, do you think Elon Musk is done selling his uh, Tesla shares in order to fund the buyout of Twitter? You've been continually, obviously, bullish on Tesla, keeping it within that 10% holding range. Uh, more bearish on Twitter, as I understand it. So uh, can you just give us your updated thoughts on both stocks, especially in light of the selling pressure on Tesla that's resulted from this? Uh, yes, and, and uh, we, we post our trades at the end of every day, and you'll see that uh, we have been selling down Tesla, but it's still our largest position, 9.5% in the portfolio. Uh, when we see uh, Tesla down you know, 20% from its high, and we see our some of our other stocks down 60, 70%. Uh, 
uh, uh, now there's more optimism with Tesla. It's in a, it's in the indexes now, so it gets more support. We're going to make that kind kind of trade, but our confidence in what Tesla's what kind of now, trade? You mean you're following, you're selling out of it because of the price action in some of the smaller, more beaten down stocks? Yeah. So portfolio management means. Uh, if a stock is, uh, especially over the past year and a half, te- is uh, especially over the past year and a half, Tesla uh, has been a moon. It is maintained uh, its valuation relative to some of the other names, in which our confidence also have in- has increased. Uh, so Tesla, are, we have not lost any confidence in Tesla at all. And uh, understand that uh, Elon Musk is diversifying as he should. He has an incredible amount of his net worth in, in Tesla. And he feels very strongly about Twitter. So, And we're very interested in what he's going to do with Twitter. We just had a brainstorm about it. And uh, we think uh, we think he could do some magnificent uh, things with it uh, as a private company, you know, reorganizing the model in some way um, and opening up the algorithm. So uh, fascinated by that. Um, uh, so, you know, in terms of Twitter, what's ironic here, our greatest fear for our portfolio right now is that uh, our names will be uh, taken out. They'll be acquired. They are selling at bargain basement prices. If you give us a five-year investment time horizon, we will maintain that they are deep value names. So our fear is that they're going to be taken out. Uh, Now, uh, 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 Elon is taking out Twitter personally, which is even more interesting. We wouldn't have expected that. Uh, But even more interesting, we wouldn't have expected that. Uh, But Elon has done base for space travel itself or the space interconnectivity. And uh, we expect we would we would place a high degree of confidence that he'll do very well with Twitter. We all have to go. But so to be clear, are you done selling your Tesla position at this point? Well, I can never say never. You know, if Tesla went up 30 percent and some of our other stocks went down 20 percent, that would be a natural trade for us to make, but it would still probably stay uh, as the largest name in the portfolio. So time for that point, I promised everybody. And spoiler alert, not about ARK Invest. It is about disruptive innovation. In fact, it's about Tesla stock. So Tesla stock, year to date, down close to 30%. And boy, has it been a bumpy ride. In the last 52 weeks, the 12 month high for Tesla stock, $1,243 per share. 52 week low, $546 per share. Now please, ladies and gentlemen, riddle me this. Has the value of Tesla actually changed by more than 2X over the last 12 months? Was there a point in time where Tesla was worth a little over half a trillion dollars and a point where it was also worth well over 1.2? Two trillion dollars, or did the stock market miscalculate, misunderstand, and misvalue Tesla at any point during that time? Of course, I absolutely don't know the answer to this. I'm, that's why I'm asking you guys. Of course, if we look at the 12-month price chart, Tesla stock, we can see the stock up almost 30%. Again, a very bumpy ride. Now I want to drive my point home because one would think if the price of Tesla stock or any disruptive, innovative company, but in this case, just focus on Tesla stock. In a perfect world, the stock price would roughly mirror the financial financial performance, growth, and so on of the company, right? It's a reasonable thing to say. Of course, this isn't reality. Elon Musk selling Tesla stock not only itself caused the stock to plunge by dumping loads of shares on the public market, many investors to panic and sell because they thought the stock might go down while Elon sold, plus many funds to dump shares to get in front of the trade to make insane amounts of money. Then people started panicking about the macroeconomic environment, interest rates, the Fed, PE multiples, blah, 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 blah. And then Elon announces his bid for Twitter, and once again, the stock market panics, and Elon dumps shares which cause the share price to plummet plus people dump shares because they're scared Elon might you guys see where this is going right there's been a lot of things that have literally nothing the fuck to do with Tesla the company or their execution in the last 12 months that have massively adversely affected the price of Tesla stock for context for some important perspective take a moment to burn this image the 12 month Tesla stock price chart into your mind now let's see what Tesla's actually done in that period of time the company not the stock the thing that actually matters at least if you're an investor not a moron let's have a quick look this is Tesla's market share by region over the trailing 12 months. US and Canada in blue, Europe in red, China in green. You know what this is called? An exponential growth curve. If you really want to test yourself, try to project this into the future and see where things end up. But hey, if market share isn't really a metric you care for, how about gap operating margins among 
automotive manufacturers. Tesla here in red, all the dinosaurs in gray. Again, notice the trend. Now let's dig a little bit deeper. We're now looking at trailing 12 month data for Tesla's net income and adjusted EBITDA. In other words, how much money is Tesla really making? Now, remember in your mind, the Tesla stock price chart versus Tesla's actual execution, the financial performance of the company. Seems to be a pretty strong disconnect, right? Another metric to look at over the trailing 12 months, operating cash flow and free cash flow again. Very clear trend here, heading to the moon following an exponential curve. And last, Tesla's vehicle deliveries. Again, very similar exponential increase. Notice, the more vehicles Tesla delivers, the more money they make. Whether we're talking about operating cash flow, free cash flow, net income, or adjusted EBITDA, all the same shit. Tesla delivers more vehicles, financials improve, they make more money. Guess what? Berlin and Austin, you know those big new factories that just started delivering vehicles? The impact of those factories is gonna massively increase Tesla vehicle deliveries, and in turn, that's right, you guessed, their financial results. And to bring this full circle, here we are once again at the Tesla 12-month price chart. Over that same period of time, Tesla stock had a pretty decent run and then started getting absolutely pummeled for things that had nothing to do with Tesla's business. Today, Tesla stock, to me, represents the best risk-adjusted opportunity I can find in the stock market. Now, I'm sure there's better opportunities out there. There'll certainly be better stocks in terms of absolute performance in percentage terms over the next one, two, five, 10 plus years. But I'm not aware of any, and I really wanna emphasize this. Tesla stock is around $870, and we're in mid 2022. Wall Street estimates are about half where they should be just over the next 12 months for earnings. It's embarrassing. I mean, seriously, every one of these analysts should resign in disgrace when they miss the mark by that much, but they won't. What's happening to Tesla stock right now, in my opinion, the scaled down version of the exact same things that's happening to ARK's funds overall. Different reasons, the macro environment's having an impact, there's other stuff going on as well. This is the same kind of misunderstanding, a disconnect, an opportunity. Of course, I could be wrong. And I'm sure if Tesla stock's down another 12 or 13% next week, there's gonna be plenty of trolls in the comments saying this aged well, you moron. But of course, I'm a long-term investor with a 10 plus year investment horizon. Not really interested in what's happening over the short term, except to the degree that it allows my dollars to go further. The cheaper Tesla stock is today, the better value it is in my opinion. I have a very, very high level of confidence that a decade from now, investors will look back at Tesla stock under a trillion dollar market cap, trading today around $870 per share and think it's a typo missing a couple of digits. Of course, I could be wrong. And I'll also add that the shorter my time horizon, the more likely I am to be wrong. In fact, I've made some incredibly dumb short-term predictions about stock prices in the last couple of years, always with the caveat before making said prediction that A, short-term predictions about stock prices are moronic, fraught with danger, and I'll likely be wrong. <laughs> Turns out that was true, duh. But the longer the time horizon, the greater the level of confidence I have that the stock market will figure things out. I know I repeat myself a lot in these videos, oh, Tesla stock seems cheap to me today, next minute it's even cheaper, but I can't stay quiet when I see an opportunity like this and what I see is one of the biggest disconnects in the history of the stock market, I'm just kidding, since I've been paying attention to the stock market. Make of that what you will and I certainly look forward to seeing some comments from the trolls in a few weeks if Tesla stock's down a little bit further. Ha, you're an absolute moron, you said 870, wow, what, look, wow, you're an idiot. But that's totally fine because like Kathy Wood and Ark Invest, I've done my research, I have a high level of conviction, I know I'm not always going to be right, but I'm still going to continue to invest based on my own research and my own level of conviction and see where the chips fall. And for those of you currently dumping on Kathy Wood and Ark Invest, much like the folks who were dumping on me about everything I've said about Tesla stock over the last two and a half years, when it was down at least, and then suddenly they get rather quiet, I would highly, in fact, strongly encourage you, consider if it makes any sense whatsoever, to be assessing the investment returns of Ark and their funds over a shorter period than their publicly stated investment horizon, because I personally would argue that one, it's not fair, and two, it's actually pretty fucking dumb, especially when when they're so open about the fact that they know investing in disruptive innovation is inherently volatile. That's literally the fucking point. If everyone got it, there'd be no opportunity. And there's a misunderstanding of what a company is, a technology and so on, a huge disconnect. This is where the buying opportunities are. And as I mentioned, right now, Tesla stock's actually another great example of exactly this. I know many people argue, what are you talking about? It's worth nearly a trillion dollars, man. You're an idiot. It went up 10X in the last year. I understand where you're coming from, but again, I'm on the record. Give me 10 years time and <laughs> $870 a share is gonna look like an absolute fucking joke, unless I'm wrong. And lastly, don't forget to head over to Patreon, card in corner, link in pin comment, loads of exclusive content, plus my Tesla stock price targets. By the way, quick note, the next update, I'm actually gonna be extending these out to 2032, and that update should be live in a couple of days. So, see you over there. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solve With The Money Problem, and I love you all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check 
check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon and investment themed merch in the merch store if you want to take it to the next level. Join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up to date 10 year Tesla stock price targets and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below and thanks for your support. And if you're still watching, you're awesome. I read every single comment on this channel and I really appreciate your feedback. So if you've got any thoughts on today's video, questions, comments or suggestions for a new video, let me know in the comments below. Check the cards on screen now to browse the merch store, join Patreon or watch the next video.